tell me about OC. Now, are you, what do you think about it on the whole? I, um, you know, I talk to Tamara and Vicky all the time and it, I, I just feel like the, there isn't real friendships there. Yeah. It's all forced and you see it, you know, it's just, there's no real friendships except Emily and Gina. That's it. Well, I'm, look, on one hand, I'm glad they brought Dubrow back because it's somebody to hate. And it's, you know, I, I feel like they needed a villain. Mm-hmm. But here's the problem. The only person that ever confronts the villainess is Noella. I know. So, and, and she's annoying. Who also sucks. The worst. The worst. She's real pretty to look at, though. She's gorgeous. Yeah. Drop I mean, I find, myself, so I find myself saying like 25 times to myself, she's so pretty. Oh, I do, She's too. so pretty. Don't I say that? I so do. You do. She I is do. A, seems a little crazy, a yeah. little bit. A little. Mm-hmm. A little bit. A lot. Do you realize three she's of the just last... like Bronwyn? She's exactly like Bronwyn. Broken, and it's so irritating, and it's just like stuff for the story, you know, storyline. I mean, she calls me all the time, tries to get advice. Uh, she's a nice person. I just think she's just fake, mm-hmm. and and, and it makes me upset because you know I want her to, I want people to like her, and you know, because she's going after Heather. But you know, it's like Emily. You know, when she was writing me on. She was like, I can't believe she talks. Heather Dubrow talks about the, the, uh, the producers like this. Like she did. She told them to shut down the cameras. I have it on. Wait, text wait, messages. wait. This season, she uh-huh. did. Uh huh. I have it on text messages, Emily. And I'm like, okay, why is Shannon told why, me she used to do that in the past. And why isn't Emily going after Heather? Why isn't Emily saying, Hey, why are you treating the producers like this? Why are you telling everybody to? cameras down lights off like telling them she's directing she was like always and emily and emily Mm -hmm. and emily's like i didn't know we were allowed to do that she was talking right i have it on text message and i'm like if she just would have said exactly how she feels it would have been so much better show more authentic more authentic well it's but uh, but but it's like emily tries to stay safe she thinks that you know her bread is buttered Mm-hmm. being friends with Heather and you know she should really say well they kind of like positioned it like the Heather Dubrow show oh, they yeah did. they did which yeah. I think is a mistake because now none of these women will confront her except for Noella right would you realize that three of the last four weeks are the three lowest rated shows in the history of that franchise well that's three. based on live ratings right you and I talked a yeah. little bit about this because we don't you don't know like the live plus three or live plus seven I know that's but, but they never released those because most people and if you're starting from the lowest ever even if you add in later views, I, I would guarantee that people might be leaving Bravo anyway, just because of all the other streaming services and all the other like Amazon, options. IMDb and TV. IMDb I think people TV. are just no, yeah, I don't, they're finding I mean, other things I, to watch. I mean, I know my fans. You know, over a million. They're 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 upset that Bravo, you know, brought in you know political stuff. They want to watch entertainment. They don't want to watch anything political escape they want to you know and you know when you start going political like that you know uh, i made a mistake um, of saying my being honest being honest you know because it really did hurt me in the end and uh when you go political you're you you're losing half the the your fan base so Right. right you know that's 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 what happens but i mean a lot of people are like I don't want to watch that. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to turn into Bravo anymore. People I was there's shocked. a huge, huge, you know, that silent majority. And people are upset at the way that you were let go and the reasons why you were let go. Right, and they also have the haters, the cancel culture. I mean, like, look at your your Instagram, for instance. You know, it's like <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot yeah. of throw up emojis barf, on barf, your, uh, barf, in your comments. You're polarizing. Barf. Yeah, yeah. that's polarizing. good. That's a good yeah. thing. Um, I don't know if it's a good thing or not. I mean, I have my diehard fans and then I have the haters like this. But, you know, it's like it must take a lot of energy to put hate on something like it must. I mean, it takes so much energy and and negativity towards your way to just like bash on take people. Take the time to take the Instagram, time yeah. or just you mean just Twitter. They're just trolls on there. Like just I just keep all, all of them on there because it's so pathetic and so ridiculous. I don't block anybody. I don't block anybody either. Mm-mm. And it's it's go ahead, put all you want on there. But you know what? In reality, it really just hurts you. Like it makes tells you what kind of person you are. Now what do you think about because I was shocked to hear that Bravo wants to do or is going to do a spin off with the Dubros. I mean, do you think that would be interesting? Well, first of all, she's not a therapist and 
I mean, she's so irritating. I don't know. I can't stand her. We were, we were laughing. We were, we were reading the comments on uh, one of the Instagram Bravo posts, Housewives. Bravo Housewives about that show. And the comments. There was 4,000, No, no, no. Hard pass. I'd rather be boiled alive. You know, it was just one after I'm sure that's another. not my Instagram from yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know who's worse. Is it, is it Heather? But I don't, we don't have a spinoff. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, we are getting a spinoff on, um, we have a production company wanting to do a show with us. We just, we, uh, we have lawyers writing up the paperwork. We're working on an that's agreement for a, for a home remodel show because we're remodeling a house in the desert. Right. And uh, Kelly has amazing taste, and I have some construction experience, and we're flipping houses now. Yeah, well, we're yeah. not going to flip this house though, but we we're going to do. But your you'd Hampton sell house. it if you got a good number, right? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, we we talked about we're doing it. a pickleball court. I'm a, a pickleball. We're building court. a pickleball court I, in our I backyard. Love it.